Bills at Jets Monday night. Josh Allen, he went from MVP to having back-to-back. -back. Last game, he completed nine of 30 passes in one of the least efficient games in NFL history. Here's a stat that Josh cooked up. Last three lost three straight after starting three and zero. Oh. Only six teams made the playoffs and wow. sixteen missed the playoffs. Hmm. So we'll start with you this time. Must win. Okay. Before I answer, um, well, you have some bookkeeping to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Greg. Won nothing. Okay, Greg, you got a point for you the won last that one. Yeah. How? how? <laughs> All he did was regurgitate what I said. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro. I'm yeah. just saying. He, well, he literally said, I, uh, uh, you said it. I, you said it. You, you said it. You said it. I'm just saying. Bro, you don't got to just say it. I, mean, we're not gonna I need, I'm I need not gonna, a W. Yeah, when did this all right? rivalry <laughs> start? All right, to answer your question, uh, no, it is not a must win for Buffalo. The It's a love to win, need to win, but that, not even close to a must win because until we find out if Tua is coming back, and I'm now just going to kind of feel a little morally conflicted about talking about that because we all have concerns about Tua. But Tua wants to play like football again, back. and so I'm God bless him. I, I wish him healthy. I'm going to talk about him like he's going to be a healthy football player when he comes back. But until we find out when that is, there might not be another viable team in this division. Like, if, if Tua's it's out weird. substantially, 8-9. and nine, could win this division, but if so at you three don't and think two, if the Jets beat them, no, because I just don't they're think they're not that, more viable than Buffalo. No, I don't. I absolutely do not because I just don't believe in the Jets holistically at all, and I don't think the snap firing of the coach is all of a sudden going to fix things there. So, no, it's not a must win. But if they if they do win, to me, this division is like okay, unless Tua comes back quicker than we thought, is like wrapped by Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is a must win. Okay. When you when you are facing a team that number one, you didn't perform well week one when you opened the season here last season, your quarterback oh. played poorly yeah. against this defense because offensively that's not how they beat you, but the defense beat you. And then now with what's unfolded, you're fired they're fired a hand coach, they're in disarray. We don't know who's gonna be calling plays. Like you can't allow this Jet team to feel like they have life and they're not in the little brother situation that you've placed them in for the last few years. So you gotta win this game and you to my to, to remember, you've lost two in a row. Right. And yeah. so you can't lose three in a row and then feel good about where you're heading, the trajectory of your franchise and your team without receivers that we know you don't have and all the help that you're lacking this year. Greg's right, but I'm going to one up it. Okay. The rare double must win. <laughs> He's right. so cool. Double must win. It's a double must win, and you know I'm right. The Jets need a W. My, I mean, you talk about a team that's floundering, literally. And usually, it doesn't always happen, but usually you get a boost from that. You yeah. even if you know, yeah. even if you don't necessarily think the dude should have been fired, you get a bounce yep. from the uh, Jeff Saturday won his first yeah. game last year with Indianapolis and then lost seven straight. So you get that Panthers boost. Panthers won if, as soon as they put Dalton in. You know right, what I mean? Like right, a little right. boost of yeah. something. If, if the Jets lose. I mean, all of that, maybe you're thinking, okay, look, we gotta, we're gonna do something different. And then you lose, maybe Rodgers plays poorly again. Now you're really like, okay, look, we're, the Raiders we're done. should announce. And the same thing for the Bills. They're trading Devontae to the winner. <laughs> put some extra steps on the game. The Devontae. <laughs> all right, let's talk about this. Um, I'm gonna keep it more Buffalo Bills centered. Um, so it's interesting. You know, Nick is saying it's not a must win because that they can still win the division, right? So again, when we talk about it, um, literally, yes, it's literally not a must win, especially because of the Bills record and all of that. But if you're talking about figuring out who the Bills are from an identity standpoint, are they a true contender? Can they make some noise? Can they win the playoffs, right? What, what can they do? Can they reach a Super Bowl, whatever it may be? Right, it becomes more of a must win, but I see it more as this. Because of the way how the last two games have gone, um, they weren't obviously good games for the Bills. And so I think at the minimum, and I actually said this as well with the 49ers, is that the Bills have to play great. If they lose this game, they still have to play great offensively, right? If they don't and they win, it would still be concerning, right? 
they don't really play that well, but they just beat the they beat the Jets because you know Aaron Rodgers throws another three interceptions or they're just not that good, whatever it may be. You still wouldn't feel good about the Bills. Um, but if the Bills play really, really well, and Josh Allen is 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 back to what he was doing in the first three weeks, and he's looking really good and, and comfortable and confident and that offense is is really firing at all cylinders again. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a blowout. It just has to be like a really good game, at least offensively. They could still lose this game because Aaron Rodgers throws for four touchdowns, and, and right they do get that reinvigoration from firing their coach and all of that. Then I would say that the Bills could still feel pretty good about it because they could say, okay, we're on the right track now, right? Because um, the Bills are just trying to get back on the right track they've kind of got derailed a little bit and now they're just trying to get back they don't have to if they were all if they were if they were kind of going up here right and then now over the last couple of weeks they've just been kind of going down all they do is have to just kind of flip it around they don't have to get back up to the top they just have to flip it around and say okay we're, we're going back up now like we we you know we figured some stuff out that is ultimately from my viewpoint what the agenda is right now if they started off the season with only one win then yeah right then it would matter more but considering what the bills were able to do um before these last couple of games i think that's what gives them the cushion um and i and i said also in another bills video that i posted it's just i kind of keep going back and forth between who are the buffalo bills right now i really only have the confidence in josh allen nobody else uh whether it be coaching whether it be um roster whatever it may be so i'm just curious to see what they can continue to do offensively this is where brady is going to really show me who he is as a coordinator moving forward right what is going to be his game plan because they talked about um josh allen uh losing to this jets team and, and not looking good week one and that wasn't with brady as the as the coordinator right um if uh, if memory serves me correctly because he didn't start until like the mid-season where he then took over so that's where i'm curious to see what does this team look like offensively now now that they ran into some problems in the last couple of weeks against better defenses what is the game plan what are they hoping to achieve um what is the game plan to help give josh allen easier throws with a limited offensive weapon with limited offensive weapons and banged up weapons at this point as well what is the actual practical game plan that is what i'm looking for more than anything because if it's just the same old same old well then yeah i'm going to find that uh pretty concerning whether they win or lose if josh allen turns into superman and he has to uh you know make a play out of nothing every single down and has to run for 95 yards and he's the leading rusher again and he has two touchdowns uh rushing and a passing touchdown i'm like that was a great win by josh allen josh allen had to put this team on his back but like i don't feel good about the bills moving forward again it all depends on what your expectations are for the bills are they just a playoff team are they just a divisional winner or are they actually a legitimate contender right? That's where everything then matters in terms of, is this a must win? What do we learn from these? Uh, you know, what do we learn from these games about these teams? But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about the Buffalo Bills? Is it a must win? Um, do you think this game um, will be competitive, not competitive? You know, what's going on with the Jets, the Bills, honestly, both these teams, do you think these are two great teams or two okay teams? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.